Hey there guys and welcome back to Homebrew Vehicle Sandbox. Now I'm going to take this first opportunity to apologise to you all because I haven't been very well, you're probably still hearing my voice that I haven't been very well, but um, we're back and we're here on Homebrew, they've just had a little bit of an update. Um, as you can see we are now moving relatively slowly in the builder. Um, this is it now, this is the maximum speed, so it does mean that we can look around our aircraft and our vehicles a little bit easier. Now, beforehand, if I was to go inside my vehicle, it would take me ages to try and... Look at that. Now we can actually stay inside the vehicle the whole time by tapping, just tapping the keys. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you so much, Copy Bug Paste, the devs, NVIDIA, um, you know... Nvidia, Nvidia, you know who I mean, the devs, they're always on the forums, they've been listening to us, thank you very much guys, much much appreciated. Anyway, now that I've just completely destroyed their names, we're going to talk about the other things that have been added into the game. Now, this panelling system, oh sorry, hold on, two seconds guys. Sorry, just had to clear my throat there. Um, yes, this new the uh, plating system has had its weight cut to a quarter of what it was. So as these panels now grow, they don't grow and be quite as heavy. Um, we've also got a couple of new icons appeared. Now, the blue one is your centre of mass. The yellow one, I'm not entirely sure. I think it might be your center of thrust because if we look it is roughly in the, in line with the front prop so yeah we have 27,170 newtons of thrust so that is 27 kilonewtons of thrust and if we look down here on the floor we also have another one a red one which has zero newtons um, so I'm guessing that could be vertical thrust or maybe wheel thrust I don't know they haven't given us a key so if you're watching Mr. Devs can you tell us what these dots actually mean please I mean the yellow one and the blue one I'm pretty clever I can work that out being a mechanical engineer the blue one's your weight yellow is your thrust haven't got a clue what this red one could be for and if we go into the engine and actually start it up so we'll hit X and we'll press throttle you can see we get a new red dot appears and that shows us it's counting and it shows us how much forwards thrust that this prop is actually producing so that is the thrust that that prop is producing so if we wind it straight up i mean look at that it's beautiful Whang. off she goes and we're getting uh, 55 kilonewtons at the moment 60 kilonewtons of thrust so 62 kilonewtons that's, that's not bad is it oh i did not want to do that guys i'm so sorry right so yeah we've got 62 63 kilonewtons of thrust in there so if we get the prop out of the way so you can see it better so that is our forward momentum from what i can gather um so this one down here which has now moved haha -ha! so that red one guys is actually your thrust so because it was down here before we had no thrust did we so meh and now it's up here so we have thrust yay so that works um there was one other thing i wanted to show you guys the um ui has changed a little bit so we need to jump into the tuner on this because it has changed my camera angle so we're going to go into the seat and we are going to go to third person camera look around <clears throat> because apparently it it didn't like looking around before so we will just make sure that's happy we will go to save project save return and wait for it to do its thing it doesn't take long to like save actually it's it's pretty good and out of the builder now if we spawn ourselves back out here click the old inventory where's the falcon there she is um, if you watch uh, Sated... <coughs> Sorry guys, my voice is given up completely today. <coughs> if you watch Sated Milkman, who is also linked from my channel, or if you've seen him on the Homebrew forums, 
Um, he also has a falcon. God damn it, he stole my name. He stole my name. There's a copyright claim coming, Mr. Milkman. Haha, <laughs> no, I'm only joking. Anybody can use the names of my vehicles. Anybody can use any of my vehicles, which reminds me. When the importer is stable, every vehicle that I build, be it good, be it bad, I will be putting into the workshops. So we have look around inside the cab. It's really nice. So if we change view, uh, it's now glitched just out underneath. And I now have no longer, this is no longer a look around mode. So if we hit X to start it, we'll just throttle up. We'll go back to the inside. Now I've actually set this to look around while I'm outside and I'm only getting look around while I'm inside at the moment. So we'll take off and we'll swap to the back. Yeah, I can't actually move my mouse so I'm not getting any movement. Um, the camera will still rotate and follow the, the plane but it's a bit hard. I want to see what's coming. Yeah, like that. Um, and it's actually made my plane extremely more difficult to fly because I can't move the camera where I want it to move. So again, devs, if you're watching, we have a little bit of a bug with the camera. Oh no, we're gonna crash, we're gonna crash. Oh, uh, stop. Ow. As you can see, I'm not a very good pilot, but we won't worry about that. Oops. Anyway, we will reset ourselves back up here reset and we are going to go straight into this one because i've built this well i'm in the process of building this and i think it's pretty freaking cool um but i just need to get it to work a little bit better um yes guys we have a, a twin prop vertibird concept he 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 um twin engined because twin engines <laughs> We'll change the view and it puts us back underneath again now this is this is actually really annoying because now i cannot fly this vehicle at all because i need the move around camera so we're going to start it up we'll give it some throttle um we'll let it wind all the way up um this isn't actually going to work because i can't move my camera And for some reason, they've changed. Are you serious? Ah, I can't fly it now, guys. Oh, look what you've done, Devs. I can't take off because I can't change my view. Oh, no. What have you done? Right, into the builder. Quick. See if we can't sort this out. Oh, no. I wanted build. Open project, quick! We've got to save the vertebird. Anyway, guys, this is what it looks like. Um, at the moment, it's a bit. Ah, I see what that one is. That's your lift, guys. That's how much lift you get. The yellow one is lift. Uh, red one is throttle or thrust. Uh, blue is center of mass. So my center of mass is quite nice under my. Oh, should be the main point of lift but it's not so we are going to quickly grab this and grab the seat and we are going to put this we're just going to click all of these and get it to try and change to how I want it to so we put it back on look around we'll click on save we'll press return to save it again because I couldn't be bothered to move my mouse and then we will press enter again to get out. We will throw in I. We will grab the vertibird. We will throw it on the floor. No, 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 don't flip forwards, don't flip forwards. Thank you. F. V. And I'm still underneath. So I've just gone into the builder. I've just changed the camera to look around. And I no longer have a look around function for my camera. Ah, this is so annoying. I also can't believe that my keybinds have changed because E and Q was not what it was, it was W and S.
we're going to take off. We're almost at power, we're almost at speed. No, 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 come on, take off. You can take off, you've done it before. Whoa, no, that's falling over you. Mr. Devs, can you please fix the camera mode? You've broken it. I now can't fly that because I can't see what it's doing. Meh. Anyway, guys, we'll quickly jump back into the builder because they have actually brought in a another part. Dun, dun, dun. New parts. New parts. Yes, please. Everybody likes new parts. So we'll come down in here. We now have a biker seat. Ha <laughs> ha. This is cool. Um, and it looks like they've fixed everything. Oh no, propeller hub, simple propeller hub. Cool. Right, biker seats. Let's just spawn this in and see what it looks like. So, oh my god, that looks cool. <laughs> I'm going to build a rocket bike. We're just going to strap this to a rocket in a couple of wheels. We'll build a trike. A rocket trike. So guys, this has been a little bit of a moan stroke overview video of a couple of the little things I've done in the game. Um, please, 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 devs, if you're watching, the camera mode doesn't work. Um, anybody else that watches this video, if you can please test the camera mode um, and see if it's just my game or if there is actually a bug with the camera mode, that would be a great help. Um, this was just a short one, I will be back. I've got a tweaking video coming out next for uh, my simple starter car. We're gonna do some tweaking and some skinning on it. So that should be nice and good for us guys. Um, but yeah, until the next one of these crazy videos that I always come up with. Um, not that this was crazy, this was just me moaning. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't really quite know where my words are going now because I've completely lost the plot. Maybe it's got something to do with the uh, throat medicine I'm taking. Um, but anyway guys, if you've got any comments, messages, if you want to drop them down below or send them through to the channel. I do try and read all the messages, although I can't always get back to them because I don't always know what to say to you. But I will leave you a like on your message so you know that I have read it and it has been picked up. Um, but until next one guys, see you later.